Connor Yeager, yeah, champion in the 1500 tonight. Connor, um, out not so fast. You you and um, Michael McBroom right with each other the first 500, then you kind of pull away. Negative split that race by a lot, I think. Was that the plan coming in? Uh, I have no idea what my what my splits were like. I always try to build into the race for sure. Uh, I definitely don't want to get too carried away in the beginning, and it's easy because you know you're so excited. Uh, but yeah, just trying to hold back just a little bit. It's like a double-edged sword. Like you can't go out too slow, or else you won't be able to you know go fast enough in the ends, like get it far enough under. So. I don't know, it's hard to just play it and see where you end up. It's like 15 minutes of waiting to see how you're going to do. Was that what you expected before the race, 1451 and after the race? Uh, you know, honestly, just to perform well and qualify for the team is like number one priority for sure. Um, maybe wanted to go a little bit faster, but uh, we got some more time. So. Can you talk a little bit about, this is like your first time competing at this pool, is that correct? Yeah. And like, where were you in... 2010. Can, yeah. Probably on my couch or like skateboarding or surfing or something. Yeah, you come a <laughs> long way in, in, in really a short period of time. I think people kind of take that for granted sometimes because they know about the NCAA career. Right. You know, what what, what do you attribute to your success so fast, such a high trajectory? Honestly, the, uh, the training environment that I've had at the University of Michigan, uh, for sure. You know, without training, like guys like Sean Ryan and Ryan Field, who are also in that heat, and newcomers like Michael Klee, no way would I have the confidence to go out and, and race the way that we do. Maybe just because I've been sitting up there all day right in front of me, but those guys up there, the Go Blues, it's <laughs> right it's in impressive. Your ear. Right I'm in sure my you ear. guys are loving that all day. It was you most of the day. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty loud too. How does that make you feel on the blocks during the race? It's great. You're supposed to be having fun, and that's why we're here, and like cheering on your friends. Why would you train eight months together and then not get here and like wa even watch them race or cheer for them? You know, that's the point. So that's, yeah. You made the team. How are you feeling at this moment? It's so relieving. <laughs> it's so relieving. I know what I'm doing this summer. I think I know what I'm doing next summer now. So, uh, I mean, that's really great. 200 free tomorrow. You think relay is a legit possibility in that one? We'll see. Yeah. I mean, project your splits in that. No. <laughs> what, what's it going to take? What's it going to take to make top six in the 200 free? I think to make the A final, you'll have to be 47.5. Prelims. Faster. Yeah. I don't know. I think so. What you're going to drop? Hopefully a 47.5. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I'd love to be in the final for sure. Yeah. Thanks, Connor. Appreciate it. You got it. Good Thanks, luck. Buddy. Bye. Thanks.